All right, y'all, today we're talking about two different things. We're going to be talking about multiplying fractions and dividing fractions. This video right now, I'm just talking about multiplying fractions, though. Please make sure you watch the second video. On the other board, it'll be about dividing fractions. Multiplying fractions are very, very easy. I know y'all love easy stuff. Well, welcome to multiplying fractions. When you multiply fractions, there's really an easy phrase you can remember. But remember, this phrase only goes for multiplying fractions. There's a different one that goes with dividing fractions. When you are multiplying fractions, the phrase that I want you to think or remember is top times top, bottom times bottom. Numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. It's as easy as it sounds, you guys. Watch. My top or my numerator is 8. 8 times 10 is 80. That's the numerator of my answer. 3 times 20 is 60. So my answer is 80 over 60. Yes, you can simplify that. I'm not going to ask you guys to simplify that today, but you could simplify that by a lot. I could divide by 10 and get 8 over 6, and I could divide that by 2, which actually gives me 4 over 3. If you can do that, that's excellent. I'm not going to ask you guys to do that today. Um, but please know that simplifying means you're subtracting, not subtracting, sorry, dividing to make your value smaller, although the fraction still equals the same thing. Multiplying fractions again, I'm going to do the second problem here. 7 tenths times 11 fiftieths. Top times top. 7 times 11 is 77. Bottom times bottom. 10 times 50 is 500. So 7 tenths times 11 fiftieths equals 77 five hundredths. You do not need to simplify the answer. I will take this answer. If you want to, please make sure you simplify it correctly. That will provide that to you. Please email me if you have any questions, y'all.